Hello YouTube. This woman killed her own child to save her relationship with her boyfriend. Penny Patricia Boudreau is a Canadian woman born in 1974. Penny is divorced from the father of her child, Carissa Boudreau. Carissa lived with her father and after a while moved in with her mother and her mother's boyfriend, Vernon Macumber. On January 27, 2008, Carissa and Penny went shopping at a grocery shop and that's when the crime took place. Penny called Vernon to tell him that Carissa had run away because they had her killed in the car. But in reality, this is what happened. Penny drove Carissa to the outskirts of Bridgewater, tackled her to the ground and strangled her with twine wheels kneeling on her chest. She then removed some of her clothes to make it look like Carissa had been sexually assaulted. She threw Carissa's body into a river. At 8.35 that same evening, Bourgeois reported her daughter missing at the police and even made an appeal for anyone with information to come forward. Many people were worried about the little girl because that very evening, a heavy snowstorm hit the town. The police searched in vain. On February 9, 2008, Gersa's body was found with her jeans and underwear down on the edge of an embankment in Conqueror Bank. This suggested a sexual assault, but as there were no signs of sexual intercourse, this hypothesis was ruled out. Boudreau's neighbors subsequently overheard her arguing with Mike Kember. The couple was consequently arrested on suspicion of murder. Mike Kember claims, I told them whatever I could to help them. I always tried to help them until they started looking at me and accused me. I couldn't cooperate then. I was scared to death for me. An undercover police officer shared a cell with Mike Kember and gained his confidence. The investigation very quickly focused on Boudreau. Boudreau was subsequently recorded on hidden cameras confessing to the undercover police officer and recounting the details of the murder. She was originally charged with first-degree murder but agreed to plead guilty to the lesser charge of second-degree murder and received a life sentence in January 2009. She must serve at least 20 years before applying for parole. Later, she said that Mecklenburg gave her an ultimatum to choose between her and her daughter. That was the reason for the murder. Yet, Mecklenburg said he wanted them to find a solution because their argument wasn't allowing to the family to be productive. But he never thought she'd kill Carissa. Why is it that the person who is supposed to protect is the one most capable of doing harm? See you tomorrow, guys.